my son slept so bad last night. He woke up at 2. He woke up at 2, 4, 5, and 6. So, feeling very exhausted this morning. I'm a huge ambiance gal. Love the vibe. So, part of my morning routine every single morning is lighting candles. I hate the overhead lights with a passion. I hate them. I think they're from the devil. The dawn lighting with the candles and Jesus and coffee. It just is a whole, it just works, you know? It just works. But I had some time with the Lord. I got to watch the sunrise. And, uh, yeah, let's go get the boy. Shepherd, good morning. You slept horrible last night. Good morning. <laughs> I'm about to do something that is necessary, but he hates it. If you're a new mom or pregnant, this thing, the Frida no sucker, amazing. Ugh. And now your air pathway is clear, buddy. Let's go downstairs. Okay, buddy. You good? something to eat and then do a little workout I'm thinking a smoothie I don't know about you but I've always been the kind of person that feels sick if I work out with nothing in my stomach going to drink this and go change into my workout clothes. You ready to work out? Now it's time to put him down for his nap. All the new moms or pregnant moms that have never had a baby before, he is at the end of his wake window. After feeding and staying up and playing for a little bit, he needs to go back down for a nap um, or else he's gonna get like overly tired. I'm gonna try to put him down for his little nap, his little morning nap. It's uh, 9.30 and uh, yeah, let's do it. You ready to take a nap? All right, I just put him down. I don't know if you can hear him in the background. He's not very happy. <laughs> okay, now I need to get my head on straight with what I need to do today. And I'm gonna start by making myself some good breakfast. We're gonna go upstairs, actually, instead of doing the omelet first and do a little bounce and a little comfort for my son. And hopefully he'll go to sleep. <laughs> we'll see. It took about four times going up there. So now we can finally eat breakfast. Usually when Chef is taking his morning nap, 
get my to-dos together for the day. And so it's on my list that I need to do. The bathroom, um, sweep and mop the kitchen, dishes, laundry. Those are my main things. He's been pretty fussy. So what I'm gonna do is give him some gripe water. This is from, what the heck? I'm gonna quickly, because he's crying, quickly do about five ounces, I'm sorry, five, <laughs> five milliliters of this. Very chaotic morning. <laughs> I'm gonna go on a drive now. I I'm pivoting my day. Just did a little dry shampoo. I still look tired. It's fine though. Dry shampoo, tinted moisturizer, earrings. Put some jeans on just to feel a little bit more like a, a human. Hey you, you're giving me a hard time today. Hey, go to sleep. <laughs> this morning has not been what I <laughs> planned at all. It's kind of funny. Um, I'll tell you one thing though, I would take a morning like this and all the difficulty and the chaos and everything over leaving this job to someone else and being at, you know, a nine to five or something. I'm still grateful that I can be Shepard's mom. I know I sounded so cheesy and corny Christian mom. Got my Starbucks. I feel like there's someone out there that is feeling really alone and needs just to know that you're not alone in the chaos. And so I could definitely choose to just like choose a more peaceful, smooth day to do a video like this, but I'm not going to, I'm just going to do this one for any moms really struggling out there. Like you are not alone. I'm just speaking into you right now. Now I'm trying to get him to sleep in the mall walking around. So I've got him in the mall. He was asleep, now he woke up. So we're gonna just walk through the mall. Okay, I'm about to buy a cocktail glass and I don't know which one to choose. Option one is the pink. Option two is the teal. I'm gonna get the pink one. Okay, the mall was fun. It was nice to get some steps in. I got a cute little cocktail glass that I'm really excited about. I'm gonna use later. And, uh, now we're gonna go home because I am absolutely starving and um, need food. So. Thank you for that. Mm. I just fed him. And now I'm going to attempt to put him down for a nap. He has not officially had one all day and he usually has like three by now this is my vibe after the spit up and the workout sweat and everything just kind of like marinating in those clothes i needed to just refresh and renew i love this sweatshirt i've got it in cape, cape cod obviously got it on our baby moon i'll put a picture up somewhere maybe there and I'm going to make myself some macaroni and cheese because I think I deserve some comfort food today. Okay. I always, whenever I get in the shower or get out of the shower, 
I always use this Olaplex bond smoother. My ends can get a little damaged, so I just kind of put some in my damp hair. I don't know about you, but I've never been, I'm never more relaxed than after I shower. Plan on staying exactly like this until I go to bed tonight. Inhale this real quick. So yummy. To wrap up this video of a day in the life with my five month old, I'm gonna make myself a little cocktail. My favorite cocktail, which is the Cosmopolitan, is one of two drinks that I know how to make. New Amsterdam vodka. What is barely left of my triple sec some cool flavor. <laughs> some simple syrup. Flavor. And cranberry juice. A lime. Nice. Like that girl from Strawberry. What's her? The strawberry milk mama that on TikTok. Like, Come on, you follow that girl. in the life. Definitely not the day that I thought I was going to have at all. <laughs> I didn't get any of the home stuff I was supposed to get done done. The bathroom, sweep and mop the kitchen, dishes, laundry. Those are my main things. My husband though surprised me by doing all of it. I came home and my kitchen was clean, my laundry was done. I tried to make the most of moments that felt hard, that felt um, defeating. And here we are, made a cocktail, got a new cocktail glass. That's nice. If you are new to this channel, I'm new to this channel too. I just started it like a couple weeks ago. I hope that out of everything that you've seen, if you've gotten this far in this video, that you just feel encouraged and empowered. I would have given anything to have someone tell me, you'll figure it out, you'll get there, it'll be okay. And uh, subscribe if you want to see more just normal life content with a baby. Cheers.